have to be ancient like me to remember live monkeys in the window at Hess Shoes when you got a haircut or your mom went to Hoshel's or the Wayland's uh, drugstore. And you have to be ancient like me to remember the promises made to redevelop Edmondson Village Shopping Center. Well, we may be sticking around long enough to see it. WMAR 2 News, Ashley McDowell with more on the renovation plans. Tell us. And that's right, Jamie. One of the first of its kind, the Edmondson Village Shopping Center opened in 1947. But as years have passed, the building is left looking dated and run down. So over the years, it's just been going down and downhill. What we're waiting for that one person to just, you know, see the potential in it. Kerry Singh has been the manager at America's Best Wings for five years. It's one restaurant Thank in the you. plaza where he says the amount of people coming in is consistent, but he feels a renovation would expand business while also providing growth for everyone in the area. There's going to be a lot more opportunity, not just for business owners, but just for the local community. As far as getting more job opportunities, more money into the hands of the people that actually live here. Over the years, owners have come and gone. And after a couple fires, some businesses are still shut down. It's a site with nothing but potential. One Chicago-based developer sees that possibility and is looking to purchase the property. Uh, but there really is an opportunity to modernize uh, a, a, a shopping center that has such a sort of proud history. There's just one thing standing in the way. Covenants from 1945, which puts restrictions on how the land can be used. The only way to change those covenants is getting approval from 59 residents that connect to the shopping center. So my goal this week is weekend is to sit with uh, residents in small group meetings, knocking on doors. He hopes sharing the vision for the shopping center will convince enough people to move forward with the project. So we want it to be a walkable, friendly place. I mean, so that people can live, work and play in their in their community and not have to go across town or into the county to have a meal. Richardson says the project is projected to cost around 40 million to complete. Mayor Brandon Scott has approved 8 million for the renovations. The sky is the limit, I think, when it comes to this plaza. It's just a matter of putting in the hard work. If approved, Richardson says he wants the community involved throughout the whole process.